Eric Idle, 80, has denied any involvement in John Cleese's forthcoming stage production of Monty Python's Life of Brian. The esteemed comedian directly addressed a report on Friday that he and John had been adapting the 1979 comedy classic for theatre. British Comedy Guy tweeted, The stage show version of Monty Python's Life of Brian will be launched in London in 2024. Gleese and Idol have made changes, for example, there'll be no crucifixion scene. In response to the tweet, Eric wrote, I have nothing at all to do with this production or adaptation. Apparently, Cleese has cut the song. Of course, Eric seemed to be referring to Always Look on the Bright Side of Life, the song that he wrote for the crucifixion scene in Life of Brian. The film was written by the founding members of the Monty Python comedy troupe, Cleese, Terry Gilliam, Terry Jones, Michael Palin, and Graham Chapman. John told Mail Online, I think Life of Brian is our best film. We are going to do it in London in the second half of next year and I've changed certain things. The group came to prominence with the iconic comedy series Monty Python's Flying Circus. Don't miss. Cher's youthful looks while fans as she follows strict anti-aging routine, latest, Jeanette Manrara shares heartbreaking reality after missing loved one's funeral, latest, Alison Hammond left devastated by colleagues exit during this morning drama, latest, Eric previously has said he wants to be cancelled for his comedy. The Funny Man who first rose to fame in the 1960s as a founding member of the Monty Python comedy team, is outspoken about political correctness. And he suggested that there is a lot of bullying going on in the name of decency. I would like to be cancelled so I can go home and read a book and not have to make an E of myself all over the world, Eric joked in the Daily Telegraph. Eric explained in the chat that he thinks comedy is about saying the wrong thing at the right time. You have to remember that Python was offensive when it started. We were not the cuddly old deafers we are now, he told the publication. It was very offensive. The point was absolutely to upset and insult the bourgeois. After debuting on the BBC in 1969, Monty Python earned a reputation for outrageous, surreal, often violent and sexual humor. Eric said the point of comedy is to test boundaries and say the unsayable. Now take